some questions related to components so tell me the answer for this question give the minimum and maximum number of edges in undirected connected graph so in undirected connected graph you have a connected graph then what is the minimum number of edges and maximum number of edges in connected graph what is the minimum number of edges that is n minus 1 this type of connected graph will be tree tree is minimally connected minimally connected you know this and what is the maximum number of edges that will be nc2 that will be nc2 n n minus 1 by 2 this will be a complete graph this will be a complete graph kn complete graph okay now let's see this question what is the maximum number of edges in unconnected graph this is important what is the maximum number of edges in disconnected graph we want maximum number of edges in disconnected graph first of all what this means disconnected graph what it means please tell me disconnected graph what it means it means how many components at least two components disconnected graph you have a disconnected graph it simply means at least two components you have you have at least two components now if you have two components then what is the maximum number of edges you can get if you have two components so you have two components remember you have two components okay at least two components you have to get maximum number of edges should you have three or like how many components will you have if you want maximum number of edges then how many components will you have only two remember two components we will have okay two components two components we will have okay to get to get maximum number of edges to get maximum number of edges if you want maximum number of edges then you will have two components so there are two components and if you want maximum number of edges then where you will get maximum number of edges i told you check two corner cases two check corner cases remember so you have two components we want maximum number of edges maximum number of edges this is what we want then what are the two situations i will check what two situations i will check i will check when you have half half like this is your component where you have half vertices and this is your component where you have a half vertices either i will check this either i will check this or i will check this where you have n minus 1 vertices here and this is one isolated vertex and this is a one isolated vertex these two things i will check which will give me maximum number of edges n minus 1 vertices here and isolated vertex here so how many components we have here tell me n minus 1 vertices in a one component and in another component one one element one vertex so here what is the maximum number of edges i will get what is the maximum number of edges i will get here to get maximum number of edges what i will do i will make it a complete graph yes or no i want maximum number of edges i want this maximum number of edges so i will make it a i will make this a complete graph yes or no i will make this a complete graph so the answer will be n minus 1 c2 that means n minus 1 n minus 2 by 2 okay in this situation what will be the max in this situation what will be the maximum number of edges in this situation in this situation in this situation i will make it complete graph on n n by 2 vertices i will make it complete graph on n by 2 vertices so what i will get i will get n by 2 c2 plus n by 2 c2 so what i will get i will get twice twice n by 2 into n by 2 minus 1 divided by 2 which value is more which value is actually more this is actually this is actually 4 n into n minus 2 which value is more tell me like put some value of n put n equal to 3 or 4 put n equal to 4 which value is more if you put n equal to 4 this will be 2 if you put n equal to 4 this will be 2 
and if you put n equal to 4 then this will be what then this will be 3 so this value is more right the first one is more so this is the anyway this is just the idea that this is how you can do so if you want so basically this is the idea the question is this you have a disconnected graph your graph is disconnected because your graph is disconnected so you have number of components will be so number of components will be greater than equal to 2 you know this number of components will be greater than equal to 2 but we want maximum number of edges what we want this is what we want we want maximum number of edges if you want maximum number of edges then what you will do you will create number of components you will keep as 2 so if you want maximum number of edges then you will you will keep com number of components as equal to 2 this is what you will do yes or no this this is what you will do if you want maximum number of edges now what you will do if you have two components then to get maximum number of edges to get maximum number of edges what you will do this is what you will do that one vertex you will make isolated and the remaining n minus one vertices you will create a complete graph you will create a complete graph so now you can notice there are two components so this graph is disconnected and this will give you the maximum number of edges so the number of edges that you will get that will be n minus 1 n minus 2 by 2 is this clear let me know maximum number of edges in disconnected graph the question is talking about disconnected graph so the maximum number of edges in disconnected graph will be this is this clear tell me what is the answer for this question minimum number of edges in connected graph that is n minus 1 that you already know that is a tree this you already know minimum number of vertices minimum number of edges in a connected graph that will be n minus 1 what about this how many edges must a graph with n vertices have to guarantee that it will be connected to guarantee that it will be connected how many edges how many edges how many minimum like let me say minimum how many edges minimum how many edges you must have you must have on n vertices to guarantee it will be connected so you have n vertices remember you have n vertices okay remember you have n vertices for example if you have four vertices let us assume you have four vertices so this is you have this is what you have now minimum how many edges you need to put to guarantee that it will be connected three edges will guarantee tell me will three edge guarantee will three edge guarantee it will be connected tell me will three edge will three edges guarantee will three edges guarantee it will be connected guarantee that it will be connected will this guarantee it will be connected if you have three edges with the three edges can you guarantee that it will be connected no you cannot guarantee it will be connected see with the three edges you cannot guarantee it will be connected are you getting the question first to understand the question you have n vertices you only have n vertices like you have four vertices now how many minimum edges i have to put to guarantee that whatever i do i must get a connected graph so what will be the answer so for this answer will be very simple you know that disconnected graph has maximum how many edges if you have disconnected graph if you have disconnected graph then what is the maximum number of edges then the maximum number of edges will be n minus 1 c2 if you have if you have g with more than these many edges if g has more than these many edges then what can i say then i can guarantee it will be connected right because in a disconnected graph if you have a disconnected graph then this is the maximum number of edges you can have in a disconnected graph this is the maximum you can have maximum so if you add plus one like if you add plus one plus two if you add something if you add something then you will definitely get a connected graph yes or no in a disconnected this is the max you can have 
this is the max you can have in disconnected if i add plus one if i add plus one if i add plus one then i will definitely get a connected graph so what will be the answer for this question so for this question answer will be n minus one c2 plus one n minus one c2 plus one is it clear these many edges will guarantee that you have that your graph is connected this will guarantee okay so how many edges you must have to guarantee to guarantee it will be connected the answer will be n minus one c2 plus one this will be the answer the same question you can think like this every simple direct and directed graph with more than these many edges with more than these many edges more than these many edges will be connected yes or no with more than these many edges will be connected these are the two questions please read the difference between these two questions can you see the difference between these two questions here you have connected graph here you already have a connected graph your graph is already connected your graph is already connected now what is the minimum edges you will have like you can have your graph is already connected your graph is already connected now what is the minimum number of edges you can have that will be 39 okay understand the difference here you already have connected graph okay and here we have to guarantee a connected graph see the difference between these two question here we have a 40 vertex graph so in the first question what we have tell me what we already have in first question what we already have in first question tell me we have a connected graph we already have a connected graph and now you already have connected graph now you want what is the minimum number of edges you can have okay in second what you already have what you already have you only have 40 vertices you only have 40 vertices now you have to guarantee you have to guarantee that you will get so you have to guarantee that you will get connected graph so how many edges i should i should add to guarantee this guarantee i want i want guarantee so the answer will be what answer will be 39 c2 plus 1 this will be the answer 39 c2 plus 1 so the answer will be 39 into 38 divided by 2 plus 1 what is the answer 19 multiplied by 39 plus 1 you can just calculate so this will be a big value the value will be a big value okay so the difference between these two questions you should understand what is the answer for this question this is your gate 1991 maximum number of possible edges in undirected graph with n vertices k components if you have like i told you with two components what is the maximum number of edges graph with the two components graph with the two components so in graph with the two components what is the maximum number of edges the maximum number of edges will be n minus 1 c2 how do we get this to get this what we do this is important to get this what we do to get this we do we, we make a complete graph on n minus 1 vertices and one vertex we put isolated this is what we do one vertex we put isolated now the same if i ask you for three component the for three component then what i will do then what i will do then i will make two isolated vertices then i will make two isolated vertices correct what i will do i will make a complete graph on n minus two vertices now you can notice there are three components this is a this this so total three component you have so what will be the answer the answer will be n minus c n minus 2 c2 the same question if i ask you for four components then what you will do then you will make one more isolated this will give you maximum so what you will do you will make a complete graph on n minus 3 vertices so the answer will be what that will be n minus 3 c2 the same question if i ask you for k components then what will be the answer now what will be the answer here you will have okay here you will have n minus k plus 1 right 
n minus k plus 1 because you can notice when you have 4 then you have minus 3 when you have 3 then you have minus 2 so when you have k then you will do minus k minus 1 so that will be n minus k plus 1 and you have k isolated vertices there will be k minus 1 isolated vertices like there will be a1 there will be a2 there will be a3 and so on there will be k minus 1 so total you have k components so total you have k components and the number of edges maximum number of edges that will be what that will be n minus k plus 1 c2 if you have two components then it is is it disconnected if you have two components then of course it is disconnected if you have three components of course it is disconnected a graph is connected if and only if you have one component a graph is connected if and only if when can you say graph is connected if and only if one component if and only if one component okay graph is connected if and only if one component so what is the answer for this question gate 1991 maximum number of edges n vertices k components so the answer you already know the answer is n minus k plus 1 c2 okay so that will be n minus k plus 1 into n minus k divided by 2 this will be your answer this this we have already seen show that a graph if has more than these many edges then it will be connected this we have already seen okay so this question you can take as homework so tomorrow we can solve it please take this question as a homework this is a nice question okay you have k components one vertex you are removing then what will happen so this question you take as homework tell me the answer for this question this is gate 1991 maximum number of possible edges n vertices k components same question n minus k plus 1 c2 okay and that is n minus k plus 1 into n minus k divided by two. this we have already seen okay just take this question also as a homework this you try okay just try this uh -huh.